Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. How's it going today? Hopefully pretty well. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. Now, if you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now, this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways guys, let's jump right into it. So what are we going to be talking about this week? What are we going to be talking about in this video? Well, we're going to be diving into real estate property taxes. That's right. All the complications involved, all the simplicities, all that crazy stuff. So property taxes is super interesting, but it also can be super complicated for those of you guys who don't know what you're doing. So please, please, please pay attention. And of course, if you guys at all have any questions, leave them down below throughout this week, throughout this process, because honestly, it's like a snowball effect. If you don't understand one part, you're not going to understand the next couple parts. All right, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into today's question. All right, so the question states, a property's market value is $250,000. The assessment rate for the house is 15% with 27.50 mils. Find the annual property taxes. And it gives us four options here, like usual. I'm not going to read through the options. I'm just going to jump right into it and give you guys that time necessary to figure out the problem. Because a little bit later when we get into the, the meat of the explanations and all that stuff, it's going to be lengthy. So uh, yeah, use this time now to figure out the problem. If you have no idea what you're doing, that's okay. We're going to figure it all out together in a few moments. So go ahead and pause here if you need help. Starting now. All right, so hopefully you use that time effectively. Of course, if you need more time, uh, feel free to pause. The reason I'm just giving you guys a short time period for these problems this week is because I know for a fact you're probably gonna have to pause on these videos because there is a lot of math involved. All right, anyways, so without further ado, let's get into the answer and the explanation. So what is the answer for this one? Well, it's going to be A, that's right. It's just $1,031.25. So. That's not bad for annual property taxes. That's pretty cheap. Um, but anyways, how did we get that? How did we figure that out? Well, in this problem, we have to find annual property tax. So I'm going to go ahead and underline that right there. So that's what we're looking for. Now, what we have to do is take the market value and multiply it by the assessment rate. So why are we doing that? Well, we need to find the assessed value. The assessed value is basically what the government or the local government uses to dictate what they're going to tax the house on. They're, they don't tax it technically on the market value, they tax it on the assessed value. So how do we find that? Well, we're gonna be using this number here, this 15%, and of course the market value, which is that $250,000. I'll go ahead and underline that mill uh, for a little bit later, just to save some time. So again, we're using this these two, two numbers, $250,000 and 15%. What are we doing? We're gonna be multiplying. So we're gonna be doing that $250,000 and multiplying it by 0.15 or 15%. What is that gonna give us? Well, that's going to be giving us $37,000 or $37,500, $37,500, a <laughs> little bit of tongue twister there. All right. So what is that? As I mentioned earlier, that's our assessed value. It's super important that you find that and do this step first. Now, what is our next step? Well, our next step is to utilize this number right here, that 27.50 mils. So the next step is to utilize mills. Now, the mill rate is the amount of tax payable per dollar of the assessed value of a property. So what is that? What does that mean? Well, that basically just means in certain areas. So maybe in one county, let's just call it Johnson County. Johnson County, the mill rate is 30. Uh, but maybe you go over to you know, William County, and maybe it's only 20. So it completely depends on the area in which the property lies on the mill rate and all that good stuff. So now that we know a little bit about that, let's do the math. So as I mentioned, you're going to be taking that 27.50. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be converting that uh, 
into the mill rate, or you're going to be transferring it by the milli. So what does that mean? Well, now I know many of you guys probably are familiar with rounding or not rounding, I'm sorry, but moving things over two decimals in normal problems, but you're actually going to be doing it with three decimals. That's right. Why? Because mills stands for milli, which essentially means three decimal places. So that's how we get this 0 0.2750. Um, so yes. So I, I get questions on these problems all the time. Why do you do it two instead of three? And again, it's just because mills stands for milli, which is three. Um, there's no really explanation other than that that I can give you. Um, just remember to do three decimals instead of two. So what's our other number? Well, that other number is going to be this one right here. So this 37,500. Oops, I accidentally wrote five there. Let's just erase that. And there we go. So we're taking that 37,500. And again, we're multiplying this with our mill rate. So what is that going to give us? Well, again, that's going to be giving us $1,031.25, which look at that. That is our answer. That is the annual property taxes on the problem. Wow. Okay. So let's recap briefly on what we did here. So for starters, in these property uh, or these these property taxes problems, what do you need to do? First things first, you need to find the assessed value. How do you do that? You take this assessment rate right up here and you multiply that by the market value. Then once you have the assessed value, you have to add or calculate in the mill. You need to utilize mills. So once you do that, you're gonna be doing that in this step here, which you're taking your assessed value. And again, you're multiplying it by that mills and you have to convert that again. Um, remember mills, I'll write this down. It stands for milli, which again is three decimal places over. And then you multiply that as well. And then that's where you're gonna be getting this answer, which is $1,031.25, which is your annual property tax. Again, that's super cheap, but you know how these math problems work. A lot of times they just use random numbers uh, just for the sake of the lesson. But yeah, so that is a basic annual property tax problem. Uh, hopefully you guys understood what we did there today. Honestly, these are pretty tricky, so really, really stay tuned and make sure you guys are paying attention. And obviously, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's kind of a snowball effect. If you don't understand the basic problem or the first or second step of these problems, you're not going to understand the third or fourth step. But yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please leave us a thumbs up, a like, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps us out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical.